right, we're going to get some inspiration because things have been going so smooth. There is a proven link between misery and crying. <laughs> yeah, I guess. It's fairly true, I think. Extend your large intestine against your heart. <laughs> that's, not how, uh, uh, that's not how organs work. Evolution is pointless. Very inspiring. Be nice to computers. <laughs> All right, well, uh, we'll let this jam in the background. Back in pre-colonial South America, there was a highly respected boy who was wandering around in the farmlands on a quest for a father figure, and encountered an old woman. Woman, where can I find a father figure? He asked the woman. Immediately she answered him, a father figure is to be found in the kingdom of heaven. The boy thought long and hard about the woman's answer and walked on. A couple of days later while he was whipping himself, the boy had a stroke of insight. Unwise is a man who masters his parts, but even lesser wise is a man who masters his face. And he was happy for the rest of his life. That's so fucking true, dude. There's a connection between family time and mating ritual. I mean, true. <laughs> Say to yourself repeatedly, Existence is pointless. Existence is pointless. What are the noises? You heard that, right? Keep on disappearing. True. Guys, that's just the sounds of inspiration, okay? Back in the early Middle Ages, there was a God-fearing traveler who was wandering around in a cave looking for peace and quiet. That's when he came upon a filthy fortune teller. <laughs> can you tell me where in the kingdom I can find peace and quiet? He asked the fortune teller. The fortune teller did not have to think for long. Peace and quiet cannot be found in a cave. Search in the last house you visited replied the fortune teller. The traveler was thankful for the answer from the fortune teller and did as she had said. The following they're winter, just being inspired himself, the traveler had a stroke of insight. Life is suffering if only we do our best. <laughs> and then he killed himself. <laughs> okay, all right, very inspiring. I'm difference. not going to get banned, dude. It's people who are being inspired. It's the sound of euphoria as they meditate. Don't be weird, chat. See, that guy meditating. If we all do our part, we can make global warming collapse under its own weight. I don't think that's how it works. We Back got one more shrine. In Tibet, there was a humble giant who was on a quest for horse milk in the desert. What? That's when he came upon an old fortune teller. Horse Dearest milk. fortune teller, wilt thou tell me where a humble giant like myself find horse milk? <laughs> he asked the fortune teller. The fortune teller did not have to think for even a second. Horse milk cannot be found in the desert. Search the only place where you have not yet looked, said the fortune teller. The giant listened to the fortune teller and did as she had said. Three days later as he was washing his mother, the giant understood everything. Each human being is on the side of good and there's nothing no one can do about it. And when he passed into the afterlife he was forever known to be the most kind giant there had ever been. I don't think horse milk is an allegory. I'm always trying to tell my friends that there's no horse milk in the desert, but they haven't gotten it yet. That's really good. They will never be like the kindest giant ever, that is why they still beat me. Long ago, in ancient Greece, lived a poor prince who lived in a tower with his father who was a woodsman. And when he passed on the prince was revered the most was said to have been prince ever to have lived. He was said to be prince ever to have lived. Once upon a time in the Stone Age, there was a highly respected hunter who was seeking a donkey on a desert island. What? That's when he came upon a wealthy seer. Dearest seer, wilt thou tell me where a highly respected hunter like myself find a donkey? He asked the seer. The seer thought long and hard, then she answered, I do not know. The hunter gave his thanks to the seer. Then he picked up a rock and struck her dead. The following winter as he was sacrificing a cow, the hunter understood everything. Great is a friend who offers his slave his cheese. 